Imagining your ideal house will help you better understand what the world's most costly properties look like. Because what happens when you combine a gravity-bound architect with a cash-trapped owner? In return, you'll get a luxurious home outfitted with amenities that are unique to you. And the possibilities are endless. An outdoor theater with a view of the Mediterranean, a circular structure, or new levels of cutting-edge technology. Hello and welcome to Luxury Premier, the ultimate destination for dreamers pursuing insight. And if you're here with us, it's not a coincidence that you are watching this video. Here in Luxury Premier, we only want what is best for you. May our videos inspire you and hope that all of your dreams may come true. Let's know about one of the best luxury homes. Intriguingly perplexing, the Palais Bills is 26 linked terracotta color domes, each with a porthole window, make up this complex residence. Looking at it from the air, it seems like an amorphous bubbling mass. More than 8,500 square meters of landscaped areas are available for guests, including 10 private suites, an open-air theater, and a series of terraces, waterfalls, and pools. Palais Bulls, the most opulent residence of the French Rivera, is located on the Thilsomer Peninsula in southern France. Pierre Cardin, a fashion designer and art collector, purchased Pierre Bernard's Palais Bulls in 1992. Architect Antilova worked with him to create the Palais Bulls into an awe-inspiring architectural folly that is the envy of the whole globe. My little slice of beauty, perched precariously atop the craggy SRL. Since the beginning, the cellular structures of this organism have mirrored the outer manifestations of my inventions. Here, I will show you the works by designers and artists working now. Like any DIY enthusiast, he referred to himself as a habitologist with a wry sense of humor. To him, the ideal world was one where everything was round and supple, encouraging the free movement of people, ideas, and emotions. Pierre Bernard, the anti Lovag, and Pierre Cardin came up with the idea for this extraordinary mansion, which Jean Pascal Hess, a close friend and collaborator of the Couturier, tells the narrative of his book The Palais Bulls of Pierre Cardin, published by Asseline. Palais Bulls, awe inspiring. We talk about bubbles, rings, and spheres of society in our discourse. For example, the art sphere encompasses a variety of circles of varying sizes and types. College circles, gallery circles, and corporate circles. Individuals live in bubbles like these. Manufacturers, artists, and collectors, for example. Bubble Palace by Pierre Cardin is a physical, enormous interpretation of the globe. Overall, luxury properties stand out both because they are unique and like regular homes, as strange as that may sound. Luxury properties should try to be unique in how they are designed, use space, and look overall. Yet, like many other houses, it wants to be a part of a good community and have the same features that most houses wish, like privacy and ease of use. From 1975 until 1989, avant-garde Hungarian architect Antti Lovag designed and directed Cardin's 8,500 square meter property, which resembles a living form stretch out on the Mediterranean shoreline. A sand brown concrete facade covers the 28 circular chambers, which are punctuated with skylights that are, like the bulges of the moon, rounded in shape. The lightweight mesh and rods that make up the villa skeleton give it a cave-like appearance. On six floors, the 2.1-acre home has three swimming pools and a variety of landscapes. Contemporary artists, including Jerome Tisserand, Daniel Yu, and Francois Chauvin, each designed one of the 11 bathrooms and 10 bedrooms of La Palais Bulls. 500 people may be accommodated in the auditorium, which is located outside. Distinct painters each designed a different bedroom suite. The linked terracotta color domes are dotted with portholes of various sizes and shapes. Round and oval apertures are prevalent. When light and shadow play together, Palais Bulls' bending outlines become an exuberant manifestation of organic architecture. After Pierre Cardin's demise, it was dubbed a white elephant on the French Rivera. 
Palais Bulls originally put on the market in 2017 and again after Cardin's death has not yet been sold. It's anticipated that one day, Palais Bulls will be accessible to the public, including architectural enthusiasts, artists, and design colleges. It's a location worth seeing in person for its radicalism and radiance. A magnificent radiance fills the blue pools created by the waterfalls. For the bedrooms, modern artists have designed blown-up pink cushion-style mattresses, curving bookcases, and sphere-inspired fine and decorative art to carry on the site's rejection of standard geometry. Palais Bulls is situated between Sea and Sky on Can Bay and in Massif de l'Esterel mountain range. Despite its location at a natural intersection point, the private property's roofless bends and cave-like tunnels are unlike anything else in private house construction. With models peeking out of portholes on a runway of twists and bends, Christian Dior showcased the resort collection there in 2016. Several Cannes Film Festival after parties have been held in front of its sloping terracotta walls, including MTV celebration of James Bond's 40th birthday in 2012. The 1,200 square meter plot may be hired by the day until the $300 million asking price is satisfied. Earlier this year, the pink mansion was on the market for $456 million. It is, however, private property and cannot be accessed. What happened to the masterpiece Pierre Cardin Palais Bulls? The house was never used as a residence by Cardin, but rather as a venue for partying. A piece of art that people should treasure, Zingraff said to the New York Times in 2017. It's not only a matter of money, but he also said, when it comes to Mr. Cardin's concept, it requires someone who will fall in love with it. The future of Palais Bulls, according to NS Global Mortgages' Yu Wei Jones, is uncertain. While the Pali Bulls is an iconic piece of real estate, argues Wade Jones, most people believe that this property is a bit of an elephant. Architecturally, it's stunning, but it's utterly unworkable for a home and fixing that would take significant effort. Nevertheless, he does not feel that someone should not accept the challenge. There's nothing more heartbreaking than seeing such a lovely piece of property go to waste. So maybe some individuals might repurpose it for the commercial market. Unfortunately, in its present condition, it's worthless. While it's been used for events like Christian Dior fashion displays, Cannes Film Festival parties, and private galas, this Côte d'Azur cliffside offers spectacular views of the Mediterranean. But should it be open to the public as a tourist attraction? Perhaps. According to independent curator Cristiano Raimondi of Monte Carlo, the Palais Bulls is part of a long line of artist retreats on the French Rivera. Artworks by Henri Matisse and Jean Cocteau were shown at Villa Santo Sospir on Cap Ferrat, a one-hour drive east of Palais Bulls in the 1930s when they were hand-painted on the walls. Eileen Gray's 1929 white, primary, contemporary mansion is also in the French Rivera, as is Pablo Picasso's property in Mujan, which is still standing today despite its owner's ownership change. The Prince Pierre Foundation, created by Monaco's Prince Pierre, is another cultural center. Artists are asked to undertake projects and create artwork that relates to the history and the area down here on the shore, says Raimondi. I believe that's excellent, Raimondi adds. It's a custom that shows how much things have changed. Having such locations available to the general public is ideal. In my view, Palais Bulls merits being made accessible to the public. It would be perfect if students could do research, participate in artist residencies or site-specific projects, or benefit from visits from architectural and design institutions. The artist Richard Zarzi, who has resided in Cannes for the last two decades, is hopeful for the Palais Bulls' future. To host parties and Cannes Film Festival screenings, I would want to see the next owner offer it up to all of us, said Zorzi. It's a stunning architecture that deserves to be shown out. His avant-garde style and spaces were famous, he continues. As a result, he lived a long and happy life. The new breed of discriminating property purchasers has significantly changed the lifestyle choices, as seen by the current rise in the average quality of living. They're not satisfied with just a house and a yard. As a result of this shift in consumer attitude, developers like ourselves have been inspired to produce unique works of art. 
Our years of expertise as real estate developers have taught us to keep an eye out for projects that reflect the unique preferences of individuals who want to live in luxury houses. The goals of a person's way of life evolve with them as they grow older. They typically choose a luxury apartment because it fulfills their lifestyle demands while expressing their status most appropriately. Those who purchase a luxury property may expect the finest in architecture and design. There is a wide range of high-quality materials including fire-resistant aluminum framing and earthquake-resistant RCC framing systems. People who live in these kinds of houses report increased well-being. Luxury houses go the additional mile to ensure their residents have an ideal lifestyle. With all the most remarkable features and facilities, it is the perfect place to celebrate a life well lived. Today, we hope you learned something new that you will remember for the rest of your life. We'd like to thank everyone who has stayed with us this far. Despite the fact that we have never met, please know that we respect and admire you for choosing to be here today. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us, dreamers. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos.